Hello, and welcome back to Let's Complete Thomas Was Alone. Uh, last time, we got through the second set of levels. We met Chris, and we met John, two more characters, and we were about to start the third set of levels. Uh, let, let's continue there. So, this was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Wait, what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Again, like I said, I'll probably say this about every character, but I really like Claire as well. I, I like all these characters. She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. Damn right, you can't be a superhero without a cape. And, you know floating in water, which was her superpower. I, I like it that, you know, just Claire thinks because she didn't die when she fell in water that she's some kind of superhero. I mean, again, it's another, uh, as I talked about a couple episodes ago, another thing about the human condition. We're, we're all very special and unique, as all these characters are, and, you know, we kind of are superheroes. Right. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you! What's Claire this? needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. What's this, uh, what's to stop us from saying that, you know, uh, you know, people who are different than us that have, you know, these awesome abilities aren't, you know, aren't, in fact, superheroes. We kind of all, there's the idea that if everyone's super, no one can be, you know, that incredible thing. But, you know, it, it is kind of true. Claire arrived just in time, which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Damn right. Oops. Claire arrived just in time, which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Of course I screwed that up the first time. Come on. Uh, I have to get Thomas up there to that button in order to release this bar so that Claire can continue moving upwards. I think as the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Uh, th this game does have a little tongue-in-cheek like that. In as many restarts as it Claire takes. I wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? She'd like that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. I, I really like how they tell the stories of Claire's mechanic, especially. I think it's very cool that she can float. That you know her character's based around that. I think that's a very you know, cool thing. Okay, Claire, get up here. Darn it. The others told Claire that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. Um, and, and each of these characters really does have their own personality. I think Claire is sort of... Very much in her own world, and, and kind of depressive, perhaps, about 
the world that she finds herself in, because it's, you know, kind of stacked against her. But, it, but in the same way, it's also kind of stacked for her. Like she said, a superhero in a world of conveniently placed pools of toxic water. You know, if it weren't for those pools of toxic water, she'd just be another character. But because they're there, she's a superhero. I, I think it's kind of funny and kind of cool that that's the thing. I think her character is very special. Uh, says something and, and is, says something about us, you know, well, human beings of the thing. Yeah. Claire probably needed a nemesis, a villain who would show their true colours at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough, and his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yes, Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. Now, I feel like this isn't how you're supposed to do this. But it's the only way I've actually ever figured out how to do this. Come here. Let's just sort of inch my way along here with Chris. I gotta ferry them all across one by one. Also, I think it's kind of cute that she finds, uh, yeah, she, she sort of considers Chris as her arch nemesis, especially since, uh, if I remember correctly, I might be wrong, uh, they sort of, mm, perhaps romantic strong word, she sort of, they just sort of have a fake later when they're just really good friends, or maybe it is a romantic thing, I don't know. Gone. Was he off somewhere? Plotting Claire's downfall? Surely not, Claire. Claire was honest. And she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. Indeed there are, Claire. Send Thomas to scout ahead. See what there is to see. Okay. So there's nothing dangerous left, it's just getting everyone where they need to be. Yeah, I don't think I really have any favorite troopers in this game. I, I, I do really like them all. For different reasons. Moving platforms over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. Yes, there are, Claire. Um, I think the easiest way to do this, or this level, is if I don't screw it up, is to send. Uh, Thomas and Spirit of Twice sent Thomas and John across on these platforms and then to move Claire across. Um, just because they tend to get knocked off by that block if they're on top of Claire. Here, however, we have to get on Claire. Uh, because there are no platforms 
this area first. They were doing really well. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. So I can just stay on this one here. There we go. Darn it, we have spikes now. Spikes. Claire uh, was alone, which was odd, because she wasn't meant to be alone. She needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Indeed. Being um, the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. Spikes? That was new. Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. Ah, Superman jokes. Oh, good. No, I, I really hate the spikes. I mean, here they're not so bad, but they'll get worse later on. Wow. Deja vu. The world was repeating. And this time Thomas was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. Something had altered the Matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It was plotting against them. Claire's kind of like your, uh... Finally had a nemesis. Claire, I suppose, is kind of your, uh... nerdy, you know, geekish character. She likes to think of herself as a superhero, and she, uh... often quotes or references... I don't know what happened there. Or uh, references, uh, you know, nerd or pop or culture and that nerd culture. I was, uh, comic book. Is that nerd culture? Does that qualify as nerd culture? Superman jokes, Star Wars jokes, because those have become, you know, mainstream now. What what is going on there? I get I get pushed off that block. Hmm. Not sure. I can't get on it properly. Darn it! It won't let me stay on it. Hmm. Maybe I have to... Maybe I just have to be better. Urgh. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. It, it, it's pushing me off the platform. Maybe I have to get further on it, so I'm going to do this, so I can jump higher onto it. There we go. 
but then I screw myself. Like that. Because I didn't jump off it fast enough. So I have to do something like that at least. I just have to be better at the second part of it. Okay. Darn it. I screwed up. This one isn't meant to be this hard! Why am I having so much trouble with this level? I don't know. But, um, yeah. I suppose Claire kind of counts as your nerdy, geekish character. Um, even though that stuff has become, you know, kind of more mainstream, especially with the new Star Wars. Which was absolutely fantastic, by the way. I thought it was great. Um, I think I saw it three times in theaters. I screwed up again. I think I saw it, yeah, like three or four times in theaters. Really good. If you haven't seen it yet, you, should, you ought to go see it. Um, if you like the original trilogy, uh, you'll like this one. It is definitely more like the original trilogy than it was like the prequel series. Um, which is good, because I'm one of those people who didn't like the prequel series that much. I, I know some people did, but um, I did. Okay. Um, and we'll end this video here because this is the end of this set of levels. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time uh, that we play this. Uh, next week, in our next episode of Let's Complete Thomas Was Alone. Thank you very much. I will see you all next time.